the second document. That's the Malaysia Act. This one. All right. From the compromises here, the safeguard uh, were incorporated into what they call the Malaysia Agreement 1963. And the signatories were United Kingdom, Persekutuan Tanah Melayu, or the Federation of Malaya, North Borneo, Sarawak, and Singapore. Singapore is included in the Malaysia Agreement. Annex A, which becomes the Malaysia Bill, insert all the changes from here to here. That is how it goes to the Constitution. All right? And this must be done by the Malayan Parliament by Malaysia Day. Remember this word. Huh? Keep that in your mind. Keep that in your heart. Malaysia Day. All right? Because all these changes have a commencement date. And that commencement date, it starts on Malaysia Day. All right? Now, in this constitution, I challenge anybody to find the word, the definition for Malaysia Day. If you can find the, the word for Malaysia Day, I'll give you a hundred ringgit. There is no word, Malaysia Day. So in, that's the reason why we never celebrated Malaysia Day. Okay? Until 2010. When Najib gave us a holiday for Malaysia Day. Now, it's not constitutional, okay? It's executive. That means Najib, as, as, as an executive, gives you that holiday. But he never changed the constitution to include the interpretation of Malaysia Day. Now, Merdeka Day is inside here. All right? Merdeka Day is defined as, which falls on the 31st of August 1957, is here under Article 160. But you can never find the word or the definition of Malaysia Day because there is none. Number one, none here. Huh? Number two, not inside here, there is no mention of Malaysia Agreement in this constitution. They take sections of this and put it in here, but they never say where it comes from, which is the Malaysia Agreement. All right? This was agreed in the IGC report. And Malaysia, uh, Malaysia agreement, this agreement uh, was only amended once on the 28th of August 1963. And this is the amendment. Because they amend the date from 31st August to 16th September. So they changed the date to 16th September, United Kingdom signed. Federation of Malaya signed, North Borneo signed, Sarawak signed, Singapore signed, and this dated 28 August 1963. Okay? Now, that is a legal document to say that you can only have basically your independence on the 16th of September 1963, not before that. And this was signed on the 28th of August 1963. So you can imagine, it's only about three days to the 31st. So meaning to say all the archers and all the whatever banners that they have made, they cannot change the 31st to 16th. So when they take photograph with that type of background, people thought 31st of August, you are independent. No. From the 28th of August 1963 to the 16th September 1963, you were still a British colony. Sorry to say that. But that's the document, what it is saying. All right? It's not me saying it. It's the document saying it. So that clarified. All right? 
that one change date to uh, 16 September made on the 25 uh, 28th of August amendment no time to make physical changes even the secretary of general of the United Nation was not happy with this preempted date you know this preempted date because they haven't complete their mission to Sabah and Sarawak to ascertain whether people agree with Malaysia because Republic of Indonesia, Republic of the Philippines, and the Federation of Malaya, not including the British. The British was not there. Only these three requested the Secretary General of the United Nations to ascertain whether the people in Sabah and Sarawak agree with Malaysia. So, they started on the 5th of August and they only completed that on the 14th of August. Eh, 14th of September actually, that's wrong. 14th of September 1963. All right? So those who did not read this amendment assume Sabah and Sarawak gained its independence on the 31st of August 1963. They assume. This document says otherwise. All right. Now, some people were talking about 22nd of July. 22nd of July, Sarawak got their uh, self-government. Not independent, self-government. That's what Sarawak got, which was similar to what Singapore had in 1959. And it was supposed to expire in 1963. That's why Singapore was adamant to merge with Malaya, to form Malaysia. Because if they don't, they become like Hong Kong. It will take 99 years. So that's why, that's the reason. 